Now you need to relax a little bit. Well, you're not making a steak and cheese pizza for me, right? I'm not gonna what? Steak and cheese pizza for me, right? I, I can't understand what you're saying. You're not making this easy for me, all okay, right? Okay, I'm trying to get this information so I can take the complaint. Okay, can you can you understand that your demeanor is a little uneasy? I your opinion. It is my opinion. You're not giving me any information at all. I'm not giving you nothing. Okay. What's going on, citizens? So yeah, we back at this site a few days later. Uh, filed a complaint on Officer Manaya and Officer Devon, and we just added into added a uh, Officer Stinchcomb. I think that's how you say his name, because uh, he had. I mean, just the, the most derogatory attitude, just, just unhinged. So we're going to ask, ask for a couple of more complaints and then uh, fill those things out. See if we can talk to a lieutenant about that, that trespass. So, so How you doing, man? Yeah, can I get uh, two officer complaint forms? Yeah. Two two officer complaint forms. Do y'all have those? I said, can I get two officer complaint forms so I can fill them out? Yeah. Also, do y'all have a, um, is it a lieutenant on duty today that I could talk to? Somebody above a sergeant. That's what I had an issue with. I would, I would like to speak to like a lieutenant. Somebody above a supervisor. Okay. What's your name? I, I like to keep it anonymous for now, if that's okay. Okay, so you want to speak to a supervisor and reference for complaints, correct? Correct. Thank you. Fill up this form. Get okay, out here. We'll talk to him. See, I'll just state property. I asked him about that. Like it's still state a private facility, though. Private facility? It's a state facility. It's a private facility. That's why there's fences around it and everything. Yeah, but I wasn't even beyond the fences. That's the thing. Okay. I was on. Would you like to fill the form out? Yeah, sure. At that location? Yes. Uh, I was documenting the location as well as filing for a PI request with that entity to gather some information. About what? Uh, well, I don't want to give you that information. Okay, well, let me ask that question because you're going to fill. I need this information to complete my investigation in your complaint, sir. Okay. Uh, well, again. Because it's very odd for you to film city yard, by the way. It doesn't matter if it's odd, it wasn't illegal. Depends where you were. I wasn't there. Okay, well, I just told you where I was at. I'm gonna watch the footage. Did he issue any, you anything? A citation? A criminal summons? Anything like that? No. Okay, so you weren't trespassed. You were told to leave. Uh, no, he told me I was trespassed. And, you know, by the state law, if you trespass and you have to give you, me the you opportunity. Please sir. So you just go okay, ahead. I'm trying to get the information. Can you? I yeah. have the information. I need your information. Okay, I'm not gonna put my information on there. No. no I'm not gonna put it on there. Okay, so. You just want to make an announcement like the sergeant when I told you to leave state property. Right, I want you to okay, forge out to internal affairs. That's fine, I'll do it. I'm going to fill it out. No, I'm going to fill it out. I already have this information. Okay, I will fill it out. I don't need so you to. Come to... Back. Give me that paper back. I'll give you a copy of it. I can't keep this paper? I'm going to give you a copy of it. I'm not done filling it out. I'm going to fill it out. I have this information. Okay, you don't. I want to write the information on the complaint. Are you taking it away from I'm me? I'm going to give it back to you once I'm Are you phone? taking it away from me? I'll just give you this one then. Well, I'm going to keep this one. So you're not going to give me any of your information at all? 
Sir, are you giving me any information at all? I'm not giving you my information. Can you calm down a little bit? I am fine. You're not fine. you making me feel uneasy. You... What is your name and badge number? Badge number 70. Badge number what? 70. 70? Yeah. Now, you need to relax a little bit. Well, you're not going to say it's easier for me, right? I'm not going to what? It's easier for me. I, I can't understand what you're saying. You're not making this easy for me, all right? Okay, I'm trying would... to get this information so I can take the plane. Okay, can you, can you understand that your demeanor is a little uneasy? I your opinion. It is my opinion. You're not giving me any information at all. I'm not giving you nothing. Okay. So you're not going to sign this? You're not going to do anything? No, I'm going to fill it out. Can I speak to somebody else? I don't even want to get a complaint to you. Is there anybody else available, or are you the highest authority at this location? I'm the highest authority at this location. Okay, yeah, you are useless. Okay, I appreciate it. Do y'all have business cards at this location, or y'all just give y'all information verbally or whatever? Do y'all have, do y'all have, uh, do you have business cards? Yes or no? You do not? Okay, that's all you have to say. Go back to work. at the uh, state attorney's location. I think they're on like the fifth floor or something. So we're going there and asking them questions, trying to see if we can get some answers to some more questions. Yeah. How you doing today, man? I came to talk to a, uh, a supervisor or a, a re uh, maybe it could be your representative of the state attorney's office. I mean, if that's you, that's, that's fine. What's that reference to? You have to have an appointment to speak to a prosecutor. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I can make an appointment. I don't know if that's... You know, was somebody charged with criminally? No, so I, I had a question about, about the, the process, per se. Uh, you can speak to anyone like that. We don't have an um, on-duty, on-call, I mean, on-duty prosecutor that can ask you to take the time to come and talk to you. Okay. So, I guess one of my questions, when law enforcement has a question and they call the state, is this the office that they call? Or do they have a, a different number that they call to reach a state attorney? State law enforcement? Law enforcement. They call, this is the number. This is the number? So, that's what it's in reference to. They gave them some code that wasn't valid and they enforce law based off of the information they got from the, the this office, apparently. What is that you have? Are you recording me? Yeah, it's my camera. Are you recording me? Yeah, I'm recording. No, I don't, you don't have permission to record me. I mean, I. You do not have permission to record me, so you should not be standing here recording me. I'm out of need permission, man. Well, I don't want you to, re to record me. Okay, well, can you give me somebody to talk to who, who don't mind being recorded? Okay. I mean, y'all are recording in this office already, so. Yeah, some lady was, was helping me. I don't know where she... Miss Sharita? Short yeah. hair? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she went to go get me some. But I mean, I can talk to you if that's oh, okay. No, that's okay. If she's, if she's taking care of you. Oh, do you want me to talk to her? He just walked up here, and I don't want to be recorded. He's recording, asking questions that I can't answer about the police. Okay. But he's recording. 
Well, the recording should be a problem because I'm in a public building and I have the, I have the right to record. Why are you asking me questions? I mean, that's... If, if you don't want to be recorded, that's one thing, but that doesn't mean I can't. If you can't understand what I'm saying. I mean, it's constitutionally protected activity. I can record. It's not nefarious. Well, she's not giving consent to being recorded. Uh, in the state of Maryland, you don't have to give consent. It's a one-party state. No, it's a two-party state. It's, it, that's by phone, ma'am, not, not, not in okay, person. What, is there something I can help you with? Yes. Uh, well, I had uh, a question about... Uh, yeah. The representative of the state attorney's office, when when law enforcement have a question about if they should like question about some law, and when I asked the officer at the site, I had an issue about a week ago. He said, "Oh well, the state attorney said that this is the CJS code or what have you." I said, "Well, who is the state attorney? Like, what representative did you uh, did you talk to, so that I can reference that when I you know when I choose to file my complaint or whatever the case may be?" But he didn't divulge that information. So I'm just curious if, if it was, and she told me that they call this phone number and they give them the information, I guess, that they asked for. So I was asking for that validity. And if that's the case, I'd like to file a PIA uh, request with this office uh, pertaining to some information. I can write it down. Or well, you certainly are entitled to file for an MPIA request. Yeah. So you can certainly file that and then we will answer in the ordinary course. Correct. So yeah. she did say that law enforcement does call this office. Right to get information. So at this, well, that's sort of a vague. I mean, you know. Well, I, well, what I asked her, I said, you know, when law enforcement has a question about whether it be law or whatever the case may be, is this the office that they call? She said yes. Law enforcement called this phone. Well, it depends. What does it depend on? Well, it depends on the law enforcement agency. Um, mm -hmm. There's, they can seek advice from, uh, you know, their own internal processes. Um, but if there's a specific case and you want to file an MPIA... Well, they just said he specified state attorney. He had a question about public property and private property. He said he called the state attorney's office. State attorney gave him a sieges code that said that I would have been in violation of. That code that they gave them was for private property, and I was not on private property. Okay. So I said, well, who gave you that sieges code? Because we're clearly on public property which would make that if you decide to like enforce, you know, an arrest based off of that seizures code, you'd be subject to like your department for, you know, a lawsuit. Fair. I'm not trying to do that. So I said, well, where did you get that seizures code from? It's at the state attorney's office. So I want to talk to who gave the, or at least the office so I can file my request with that office. Well, there's no way to answer who he spoke to. Well, I'm just going to file for general records within that okay. office. So if this is the office that law enforcement called, then I'll file my request with this okay. office. This is the office of the state's attorney. Okay, so I, yeah. I, I would like to file a PI request. Okay. Yes. So there is a process for doing that. Okay. So if you file it, then we will follow the process. Yeah, I want to file it right now. Well, we, I don't have a document to give you. I can write on a blank sheet of paper. That's okay. What? I can write on a blank sheet of paper. No, there's a process to file for an MPIA. I, I understand that. Uh, the Maryland state law, I can file it. There's no standard form. You know, the internet, I can also do it on a blank sheet of paper. I can write it down, identify that it's a PIA request, and I can turn it into any, uh, any employee, and then they'll send it to whoever they okay, want to get. That's, that's, come back once you've got a document, and we will process it. Uh, Y'all don't have a blank sheet of paper? I, 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 I'm not going to do it for you, so you have to do that. You, I got to go get a blank sheet of paper. from. I'll go one from downstairs. Okay. I'll come back upstairs, and I'll just give it to you guys. Okay. That's okay? Okay. All right. Go get a blank sheet of paper. They want to be difficult. Are you going down all the way, sir? Got a blank sheet of paper up here. I asked for one of that. They want to be confrontational. So that's, 
the fuck? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going back to the ninth floor. Ma'am, I can't make this up. Yeah. The, are you serious? I am. Yeah. They know that I'm going to file a complaint on them. And I need to, if they don't have a form, right, for me to get certain information from them, I can write on a blank sheet of paper by state law, and they have to accept it. Right. So I was like, well, if y'all don't have a form, like, your office doesn't have a form. You know, she had a tablet in her hand and everything. I said, well, just, you know, y'all have, she's like, I'm not going to give you a piece of paper or anything. I said, that's fine. I go get a piece of paper, which I appreciate that. Wow. And then I go back up there, and then they're going to accept this request, and then I go file my complaint with that office. State attorneys, I can't make this up. That's crazy. It is crazy. But I, I appreciate you, though. Yeah, yeah. sure. So we're going to go back up to the ninth floor. And we will fill it up. Fill it out. Right there. That lady, the name, or her name was that I was talking to? No, it's Catherine. Catherine, do you know her last name? Flynn. Flynn, F L Y E. F L Y N N. Okay, thank you. two-party state that them referencing like wiretapping which only applies over the phone and things of that nature not in public not in public so they don't know law up here that completely makes sense how they would give them give law enforcement information that is also not correct Hey, I got my request, ma'am. Can I just get a copy of this? Um, I have to find the copier. One second. Not a problem. Can I just leave this computer on?
Thank you, thank you so much. All right, have a good day. Appreciate it, man. Thanks again. They gave me a copy, though. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it is. You have a blessed day. All right. All right. So, yeah, so we got our copy. We're going to head over to another uh, one of their lots. Uh, see if they don't respect our rights. And hopefully it goes okay, but if they do so choose to impose and then we'll just handle it according as we as we always do so yeah i'll see y'all then y'all hang tight what is it dre ain't right just go back to work go back to work go back to work you okay hey if you want to start something to start something you might want to get you not the video you can't stop